Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today we are going to read, what if you had animal scales or other animal coats? What if one day when you woke up, you felt a little bit strange and you discovered that overnight, the skin covering your body was now very different. What if a wild animal's scales or some other animal's coat had taken its place? The thorny devil. The thorny devil's scaly coat has thin channels of bare skin running between spiky scales. These channels collect rainwater and soak up water from wet sand or humid air. By opening and closing its mouth, the thorny devil pulls a drink from its channel network. Gulp, gulp. If you had a thorny devil's coat, you'd enjoy being caught in the rain. A chinchilla. The chinchilla holds the record for the thickest fur of any land animal. Each hair growing spot on its skin sprouts 50 hairs where most animals grow just one. Such a thick coat keeps it toasty warm in its chilly South American home. Plus, all that hair blocks bugs from biting its skin. If you had chinchilla fur, you'd never need bug spray. A hammerhead shark. A hammerhead shark cruises at 15 miles per hour and can reach even faster speeds for short bursts. The secret is its coat of denticles. These are hard overlapping tooth-like scales, so tiny that about 10,000 of them over a patch of the shark's skins, no bigger than a US penny. Together, denticles create a coat of armor that water easily slips past, letting the shark zip through the ocean. No wonder a hammerhead shark can dine on fast foods such as sardines. If you had a hammerhead shark's coat of denticles, you'd shock everyone by how fast you could swim. European hedgehog. A European hedgehog's coat is prickly with spines sticking out of its back and sides. Each spine is a tube made of keratin, the same strong stuff your fingernails are made of, and has a honeycomb filling. That makes the hedgehog's spiny coat a natural shock absorber. Its spines are flexible enough to bend without breaking and stiff enough to straighten again. No wonder if a European hedgehog falls, it balls up and twists to land on its shock absorbing back. Sometimes it even bounces. If you had a European hedgehog's coat, you'd bounce and safely perform amazing jump rope stunts. The emperor penguin. An emperor penguin's feathers help it survive in Antarctica, the coldest place on earth. Stiffer outer feathers overlap for a tough waterproof cover. Beneath this, lots of fluffy feathers from super thick insulating underwear. Together, these layers are the perfect coat for staying warm, sliding on ice, and swimming in ice cold water. If you had an emperor penguin's coat, you'd be a champion water slide racer. An African bush viper. Ooh, scary snake. An African bush viper's scaly coat acts as body armor when crawling on trees and bushes. Muscles move its belly scales to power it forward. The scale edges press against rough spots, anchoring its grip when the snake stays still. Its rigid scales help it mimic leaves or fruit to hide from big, hungry birds. The small bird or lizards come close, it strikes to their death. If you had an African bush viper's scaly coat, you wouldn't need steps to reach your treehouse. A honeybee's body is covered with nearly three million hairs. Pollen stick to the hairs when the bee lands on a flower to sip nectar. By brushing and licking, the bee cleans its body, pushing the pollen onto its hind legs. If you had a honeybee's coat, you'd always have the biggest haul on Halloween. Look at her candy. Scarlet macaw. A scarlet macaw's feathers coat can't be missed, but showing off in its forest home is a good thing. Predators such as eagles and jaguars know not to mess with the bright big bird with the strong ready to bite beak. Colorful shiny feathers also show good health, which scientists believe scarlet macaws look for when choosing their lifelong mates. If you had a scarlet macaw's coat, you'd start a wild colored hair fad. Leopard. A leopard's coat makes it super sneaky cat. 
Its coloring lets it blend into patches of sunlight and shadow in Africa's grasslands. The spotted pattern makes the leopard's body hard, hard to see. So although it runs slower than a cheetah, a leopard's coat lets it sneak close enough to catch fast food, such as an antelope. If you had a leopard's coat, you could easily hide to avoid cleaning your room. There he is, hiding on his bed. The Goliath bird eater tarantula. A Goliath bird eater tarantula's dinner plate sized body has a shell like covering with a very hairy coat. It doesn't hear, smell, or see well, so its hairs are how the tarantula senses what's around. Special hairs near its feet give it a sense of taste so it knows if what it touches is dinner. You had a Goliath bird eater tarantula coat, you'd be a world famous restaurant critic. Having a wild animal's coat could be cool for a while, but you don't need a new body covering to bounce, get a drink, or go exploring. Plus, you can stand out and a crowd just the way you are. So if you could keep an animal scales or another wild coat for more than a day, which kind would be right for you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. The covering of your body will always be human skin. It's what you need to keep your body fluids inside and keep the germs, tiny living things that can make you sick. It also is what keeps you from getting too warm or too cold. Plus, your skin helps you feel pain. Pain is important because it lets you know to take action to stay safe. Best of all, your skin is what you need to look like you. I hope you enjoyed it today, boys and girls. I hope you're studying about animals or about um, how animals survive. If you love this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel and read some more of our stories.